I've just arrived at Amsterdam Schiphol Airport on this train. It's a really convenient airport, really, because uh, there is a railway station just underneath it. It's a, uh, probably the best way to get to the airport. Now, tonight, I'm flying to uh, Singapore with KLM, or as the locals will say, vanavond vlieg ik naar Singapore met de KLM. Come and join me, and uh, we'll see what business class is like these days on KLM. From the rail platform, you take the escalator up and you're literally in the middle of the airport. This is just one of the things that makes Schiphol my favourite airport in Europe. Checking in, there's a dedicated uh, first and business class check-in area at, uh, for KLM. Sky priority. Sky priority is what they're calling it. Uh, so from a COVID regulation perspective, we did the PCR test, got the results here, and also we had to show my vaccine certificate for, uh, for Australia. Meanwhile, mum's making friends with the uh, very nice and friendly check-in guy. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Bye bye. Enjoy. <laughs> See you next time. See ya. Bye. bye. Let's... bye, -bye. After the world's slowest security and the world's slowest immigration line, I'm finally on the air side of the airport. Um, I've now got to go to E1 for a document check and then hopefully I've still got a little bit of time to check out the uh, KLM lounge because it is a beauty here. The pre-departure document check on this flight to Singapore involved us filling in this simple form and showing our negative COVID test result and vaccine certificate. Please note though that these regulations change all the time, so it pays to check with your travel consultant or the airline website just before you fly. This is KLM's flagship lounge and it's a beauty with lots of different sections and seating. The food selection was pretty good too. Luckily, it was very quiet, so I was able to film, but sadly it meant that the upstairs section with its roof terrace was closed. So I did the next best thing and had a pre-departure beer at the bar. How has your lounge experience so far? Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Mum makes friends everywhere, including walking through airports. And it's welcome aboard KLM. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to a great flight. Now that we're in the air, let's have a closer look at the fancy new KLM Business Class cabin on the 787. Business Class is laid out in a 1 2 1 configuration so that every passenger has direct aisle access. Couples who don't like windows should sit in the middle, whilst those who do can sit across the aisle from each other or, like Mum and I, one behind the other. I really like these KLM seats. They are comfortable and practical, offering all the mod cons you'd expect from a high quality Business Class seat. Soon after takeoff, we were served with a drink from the bar. 
As the Dutch invented gin, I thought it was only appropriate to have some Dutch gin and tonic. Dinner was served next. I show the menus in full at the end of the video, but before I show you what I had to eat, I want to commend KLM on their sensational effort when it comes to design and branding. Their attention to detail is way ahead of the field. Design is therefore embedded into every element of the flight, from the bathroom walls through to the seats and even the catering trolleys. Every element of the meal service tray, every dish, spoon, glass and even the salt and pepper shakers are on point. But what was the actual food like? Well, the salad was very tasty. The fish starter looked nice but was disappointingly dry. The main course, a Dutch Indonesian favourite at A Stafel, was both visually and taste buddly delicious. I think I just made up a word there. For dessert, I went with the cheese option which satisfied my cravings nicely. One final clever design feature of the seats are the retracting armrests which means you can get out of your seat during meal times or whilst you're working. When checking out the moving map, I noticed our flight path went straight over Ukraine, where Russia had launched its invasion just one day earlier. Other passengers must have noticed this too and alerted the crew. There is understandably a lot of angst amongst the Dutch, as MH17, the flight that was shot down by a Russian missile, had originated in Amsterdam. Soon after, the pilot made an announcement. Fly south of it, we take a big margin, fly via Romania, Bulgaria into Turkish airspace, and from Turkish airspace we continue towards the southeast into Iranian airspace. We will not be close to any area where there is a conflict between Ukraine and Russia, and uh, what the in-flight entertainment system is showing you at the moment is not correct, and it's just a simple system drawing a straight line. Thank you for your attention and uh, I wish you were really very good for the rest. In addition to checking out our actual flight path and flight radar, I used the in-flight Wi-Fi to check the latest news reports on the heartbreaking situation in Ukraine. Up here, for us it was easy to simply fly around the disaster unfolding in the Ukraine. Sadly, on the ground, for the people directly impacted by this senseless brutality, it's not so easy and my thoughts are with them. Let's hope that common sense and peace prevail soon. Feeling very grateful for the freedoms and the peace that I enjoy, I eventually escaped into the world of 007. About halfway through James Bond, it was time to get some sleep. These seats easily convert into fully flat beds, with a comfortable pillow and quilt provided to complete the ensemble. Before I drift off, let's have a quick look at the amenities kit. A collaboration between KLM, the Dakes Museum and Rituals ensures that the kit is both well designed and well stocked. For me, the most important thing inside the kits, due to several babies in the cabin, were the earplugs. I managed a solid 6 hours sleep before waking up and finishing the rest of James Bond. Not long after this, breakfast was served. I went with the yogurt and granola, accompanied by fruit, bread and cheese and a nice cup of tea. It hit the spot. Once breakfast was packed away, the crew came to give each business class passenger one of KLM's famous Delft Blue houses. These little collectibles are modelled on real Amsterdam houses and are filled with Dutch gin.
Now go to Singapore. Please remain seated. When the fasten seatbelt sign has been switched off, you will leave the aircraft row by row. It is your turn to stand up with passengers in front of you who are moving towards the exit. Now please be careful when opening the overhead bins as items may have shifted and could fall out unexpectedly. And you can now switch on your mobile services on your telephone again. In line with the local COVID-19 rules, please keep an appropriate distance from each other. And on behalf of the entire crew, thank you for flying with KLM. It was a pleasure having you on board with us today. Thank you, thank you very much. You're that was uh, that was great. Really, really good flight. Now it's uh, eight hours here in Singapore before I continue on to Adelaide. Um, I believe there's no restrictions anymore, so we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens. What I need is to go into the lounge and have a shower. So as expected, uh, transit passengers are now allowed to roam freely from uh, from the Netherlands or from European flight through uh, Singapore airports. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't done so, please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, there's a whole lot of uh, other videos and travel reviews on there, as well as a whole lot on the way, including the uh, review of my onward flight from here to Adelaide with Singapore Airlines in their regional business class and the uh, business class lounge here at uh, Changi Airport, which I'm about to go and check out now. All right. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy travels.